Other local news opening statements today for the murder of Racine police officer John Hetland. Prosecutors say Dalquavis Ward killed Hetland after a robbery. The defense says they have the wrong guy. Rebecca Klopp reports from Racine County. A jury trial is underway here in Racine County with social distancing guidelines in place. They're deciding the fate of Delquavius Ward. He's accused of killing off-duty officer John Hetland. Delquavius Ward sits in a face shield in front of a semi-full courtroom and a space to part jury. All part of the social distancing guidelines required to even hold this trial. Ward is charged with shooting and killing off-duty Racine police officer John Hetland. See the last 13 seconds of John Hetland's life. They also reveal what this defendant is willing to do. Officer Hetland was killed in June of last year during a robbery at Teaser's Bar and Grill in Racine. In opening statements, the Kenosha County District Attorney says Hetland could have left the bar since he was off duty at the time. Because you will see literally on that video that he can't do it. He can't leave. So he turns around. You will see him turn around. And you will see him literally in his physical movements choose to not let this robbery happen. Prosecutors say Hetland tried to tackle Ward and take the gun from him as he robbed a bartender. Investigators allege Ward then shot and killed Officer Hetland. The DA says afterwards, investigators found Ward's DNA on Hetland's body and in the bar. Ward's defense attorney says their client's DNA doesn't prove anything. You'll find out that they already had, the Racine law enforcement community already had Mr. Ward's DNA. They say there's no proof Ward has even been to teasers before, and he definitely was not there the night Hetland died. What's not true is that the person that went in there is Mr. Ward. Ward is currently facing life in prison. He's being held in the Kenosha County Jail and being prosecuted by the Kenosha County DA to avoid any conflict of interest. Reporting in Racine, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.